then the scene was probably part of your childhood. It was a Detroit-based television show that turned many local people into celebrities practically overnight. Tonight, Deborah Steele joins us with a look back at a 70s and 80s sensation. Deb? Harry, I was one of those kids who grew up watching the scene. I grew up in Ypsilanti, and I watched the scene almost every day. That's how it was with all my friends, too. Little did we realize at that time that the scene was making history, and that old saying is so true, you never miss a good thing until it's gone. It was 1976. It was something new a place where Detroit youngsters could express themselves and display their creativity. Well, a very pleasant good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of The Scene. I'm Ray Henderson. I'm Nat Morrison. Hey, we've got an hour of nothing but goody, goody, goody for you. Ray Henderson, a radio announcer, came up with the idea of a dance show for Detroit. The show caught on and didn't let go for years to come. We were told uh, we didn't have any ratings. Nobody was watching. You go out and try and get sponsors. Nobody's watching that show. But, as Ray mentioned, you, you, as soon as you get off, you go somewhere, somebody just saw you that night. Okay, opening the show this afternoon, Larry Crabb. I think everybody rushed home after school to, to see the scene. Uh, just like when we were coming up, we would rush home to catch the bandstands or, or whatever the dance programs were at that time. The show was taped at WGPR Studios on East Jefferson in downtown Detroit. It was Channel 62, the world's first and only black-owned television station. Brian Major worked as a producer. Being that it was predominantly urban-focused, I don't think the Nielsen ratings in Detroit really gave it the kind of weight it deserved. We know people were watching. First quarter of 1987, we went to a three rating and a six share, beating Channel 2's 6 o'clock news. Talking about getting around, what about another round of music now? On the scene, it's the South Henderson shows Morris, an up-and-coming radio announcer, to co-host the show with him. I think when Nat came on, uh, I think he took the, the show to a different level. During the show's second year, Ray Henderson left to work for Motown. Pretty faces and pretty smiles. We're looking good, everybody's green. It's 6 o'clock and time for the scene. By the mid-80s, the scene had become a big hit throughout the entire viewing area. Even while it was going on, um, I did not realize how big or huge and how widely uh, accepted it was. Recording artists from major record labels appeared on the scene and saw increases in record sales. The scene also made its dancers into local celebrities. I've always wanted to entertain, and this was my way of, you know, being in the limelight, and I learned a lot about how to act in the camera, and I'm entertaining now, and my experience in the past is really helping me right now, you know, do what I do best. Lawanda is now married with children, a school teacher, and a professional singer. Fast Freddy was one of the scene's most recognized faces. Well, they used to be like spitting the thing in my feet when they come up. That was my little, this was my little dance, you know, I was doing the same thing. Then I would take the coat off. And then, you know, flip it over my shoulder and catch it. Just keep on dancing. And then I do this little foot thing. She was... New owners bought WGPR, and in 1988, the scene came to an end. The studio that was once filled with life is now empty. A few props from the show sit around collecting dust. A few of the dancers recently met up again in the familiar old studio. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey. <laughs> Nat Morris and Ray Henderson see each other for the first time in more than 25 years. The two talk about old times about making history together with the scene. What's the name of this town? Old Town. Sugar, sugar, salt, and salt. They didn't get out today. Not it is not our fault. I'll say it again. It is not our fault, because we threw down to the best of our ability. 
Those were some good times. Fast Freddie teaches dance classes in downtown Detroit. He was recently featured in GQ magazine. Ray Henderson can be heard on WQBH 1400 AM radio Monday through Friday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And Nat Morris has two video shows, Video Go-Go and Smiley's Showcase. Both air only on Detroit in Detroit.